So for this third video clip for today's meeting, um, I would like to present also the specific suggestions and guidelines in writing matching type of exams. But before I'll present to you the guidelines, let's try to have first a short review about uh, matching type of exam. So we know in a matching type of exam, it consists of two parallel columns, okay, which or with each word number or symbol in one column being matched to a word sentence or phrase in other column the item in column a or one for which a match is sought are called premises and the items in column two or column b from which the selection is made are called the responses so these are these are this is the characteristic of a matching type of test so in, in a matching type of test, we can have perfect matching type or we can also have imperfect matching type. So as we go on, you will be able to get or to differentiate the two types of a matching type of test. Okay, so let's concentrate first on the perfect matching type. These are the suggestions when we are writing perfect matching type of test. Items for matching are homogeneous. If you match authors with their literary work, just that don't mix provinces and their capitals nor dates and events only concentrate to authors and their literary works okay so we make all these items in the in the matching type of test homogeneous they should be related from each other okay number two premises or the questions which are longer than the answer should be in column one or column a number that's one two three and so on for the third suggestion for a perfect matching type, the options or answer should be in column 2, marked with the letters of the alphabet. Okay, so kanina, doon sa ating premises or mga questions natin, they should be numbered, okay, from 1, 2, 3, and so on. However, in the option or in, in, in column 2 or column B, they should be um, in alphabets or letters, okay, small letters, preferably. So these are the important general suggestions for a perfect matching type of test. For the fourth one, the options should be arranged alphabetically. Okay. For the fifth, if options consist of numbers, they should be arranged chronologically. For sixth, the number of options must be more than. Take note, this is the difference between perfect and imperfect. For the perfect matching type of test, the number of options must be more than the number of premises mas madami kang ilalagay doon sa doon sa options mo kumpara mo kung doon kay premises okay so that the answers cannot be arrived at a process at, at by process of doing elimination for the seventh one tell the examinist what what to do by giving clear and complete directions so this is all about giving directions in in the matching type of exam okay for number eight, label column one and column two, or column A and column B. Okay. For the ninth, place options on the same page. The students should not have to turn back and forth for the answer. Okay. So these are the nine important general suggest or specific suggestions when we are writing perfect matching type of exam. For the imperfect matching type, um, dalawa lang po. The first one is caution the examiners by informing them that the answers, the answer or answers may be repeated, include that in the direction. So ito po yung, this is the, the reason why they called it as an imperfect matching type, answers may be repeated. So if we are using or if we are giving um, imperfect matching type of test, um, it is very important to include in the direction that answers can be repeated. Okay. For the second one, rule 1 to 7 in the perfect matching type also applies in the imperfect matching type of exam. So just consider the rules, the, the first seven rules in the perfect matching type. Ito na po yung magiging rule number 2 for the imperfect matching type that we need to consider. So these are now the important specific guidelines when we are constructing matching type of exam. Alright, so I hope... Um, you got it right. So thank you again for watching to my video and have a good day everyone.